Ah, yes. Greetings. Greetings from the grave. I am your host, Rob. And welcome back to Until Dawn, where we figure out about the Wendigo. The Wendigo. All right, man. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Let's get back into it. For the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. It may have taken him down to the mine. Wait, don't move. Holy shit! What the ah! I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Ah! Whoa! Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Oh my god. I wonder how much these sessions are of any help to you now. Just won't listen to me and think seems pretty... Fucked up. So I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help! But at every turn, you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. <laughs> Though by the sounds of things, it won't be long for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep breaths, Josh. Deep breath. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Man, this dude has lost it. No. You're not real. You're all alone down there. No, 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 not again. All alone. But you're with us now. Family. Get away from me! Get away! Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? I didn't want you to die. I swear. Oh, please. 
don't take orders from you. No. Is this what you want? No! No! Why are you doing this? Leave me alone! Why are you doing this? Why did you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? something kind of weird about it. Um, uh, what? The Wendigo. It had a scar. So? I've seen it before. What are you talking about? I saw these old pictures of some guys with that scar, and he was transforming into a Wendigo. I'm kidding. It was one of the miners who'd been trapped back in the 50s in the cave-in, which means that thing is 80 years old. At least. Spunky for an old-timer. They cleaned the place out. Killed a lot of people. They? You mean there are more of them? Oh, yeah. How many? Too many. I think we're close to the lair. How can you tell? I don't know. I just feel really terrible all of a sudden. Did I? What's this way? I don't know what this way was. I think this is the way we came. <laughs> How everybody doing? I'm doing good. What's this way? Nothing. You no, know, we gotta look for stuff, man. We looking for clues. I really clues. don't want to go in there. There's no other way through. Oh shit. Watch. Oh God, Mike, this is Beth. This is her watch. What? Let me see. Look, there was a cross here. So this is where she was buried. But who dug her up? Let's keep moving. So, ooh, I almost lost. Ooh, that told him. Ooh. The house, the cabin gone. It's on fire. This dude is on fire. Mike, I'm going in. <laughs> oh. Come on, it's okay. You sure? I'm not dead yet. Famous last words. Oh, it's freezing. Shit. I can't feel my fingers. <sighs> Wait a minute, I thought you reached the deepest part. Oh, I didn't say that. I said it was okay. What's up here? There weren't any sharks or anything in here. Sharks? Great. Thank you. Hey, when it's open like that, you got to search everything, man. Oh, shit. This looks like Hannah's writing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Read that back. Read that back. Read that back. My little sister is dead. The fall killed her. I watched the color drain from her face. My leg is broken. I'm all alone, stuck here with Beth. Someone. I never been so hungry. It feels like my stomach is twisting around inside. 
I told Beth's I took Beth's sweater much warmer now she's still looking out for me. I'm sorry, Beth. I have no choice. It's the only way I can survive anymore. If someone finds this, I'm sorry. I had to. I had no choice. What does it mean? Jesus. My, f my hands feel un... was it unclean? My nails fell out, pushing out, and I'm... No pain, I'm getting stronger. Beth turned into a... Uh... Oh God, it makes sense. I think Hannah dug up Beth. It was Hannah. No, that's, Michael, that's ridiculous. Michael, it has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Beth died in the fall. So what? What does that mean? So Hannah must have buried her. God damn it. God damn it. Hannah was down here. I don't believe any of this. She would have been starving. She would have been desperate. Fuck! We need to find Josh. Right now. God. Is there something else over here? So what she said on that stool, she sat on that stool and wrote. Damn. She sat on that stool. That's tough, bro. Oh, 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 he's getting deeper. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Oh, uh, hey, it's loping up again. We're gonna make it. Oh, God, don't jinx it. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. We made it. Tripping or something. Josh! <laughs> M M Mike. Josh! Hey, man. Don't, don't hit me, please, please. Well, you were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. We didn't think we'd get you back. Josh, Hannah was down here for weeks, a month. She dug Beth up. Sam. Mike. Hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay. Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. See that over there? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way Josh is gonna make it up there. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 
You bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all meet at the lodge. Be careful. Yeah, you too. All right, let's go, you fucked up son of a bitch. <laughs> we playing as Josh, bro. Oh, I trust you. Oh, oh okay. You didn't, you didn't have to hit me so much, man. Uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. I was wrong. Don't make it right, bro. What you did was reckless. No. no. Oh my god, man. I... Like a goddamn fridge for the Wendigo. The Wendigo put that dude up there like that? What type of intelligence does this creature have? Let's get up out of here, man. So let's get up out of here. It's too quiet, man. He ain't talking no dialogue. Oh, no. Oh, you, Mike, you ain't see that? I saw that. Oh! Oh, man. Mad. <laughs> Token black character. <laughs> Light it like a candle. Light it. Whoa. You, Jesus, Jess, what the hell happened to you? How the fuck are you still alive? Yeah. How did you end up down here? Mike and I were we were messing around, and and then it it was what. I don't, I don't know. I was by the window and there was all this glass and it was in the snow and then it was moving so fast. Fuck. And then I was um, just down here. Oh, God. Can you move? Yeah. Come on, Jess. Yo. She is fucked up. We... We in a, oh my god, we in a bad position, ladies and gentlemen. What's the, I got two different ways. Oh, what's this? Look at that. Some sort of cave in here. That was me. What? I fell through that roof. You fell this far? Jesus. That makes two of us. What? I fell off a goddamn fire tower down here. I'm nervous, y'all. Look, look at Jessica. She is through. She is done. What's over here, bro? Yeah, told him, boy. OK, 
Okay, so fire cabin. That was Mike. That looked like Mike. It's too quiet, no dialogue. Too quiet, no dialogue. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. No dialogue, bro. We ain't got no weapons. We don't got nothing. That's the first time I feel like we are going to get body. <laughs> She not, she not in it. Abandoned Jess. I'm not abandoning her, bro. Climb. Take your time. Shit is hard. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Damn. We got two paths, man. Oh my god. Oh. Toto. So the window go get in the in the cabin. All right, window go in the cabin. What's next, man? Let's get to the house, man. You hear the music playing? Let's get to the house, man. Don't tell me we gotta get back in the water, bro. Sam ain't got no weapon. Sam ain't got no weapon.
I have no idea what's going on. What's that? Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Stay out here. Come on. Which way to go? Oh, this ain't. Following you, Mike. I can't remember how this big ass house is laid out. Remember these steps. chances of survival. Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. Go, go, go! Oh, she's dirty! Lock.
my god, bro. We have visual. The main structure is completely destroyed. Over. Hold on. I'm seeing something. It looks like there are survivors. Let's pick them up. stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Well, yeah. We... <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? What? No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? And if he attacked you... He saved my life. And I watched him die. I heard... Jessica, I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard her. He held it right up to my face, right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. I was right there and I could have done something. I tried to do something wasn't good enough. How did you end up in the mines? I was carried and um, taken and... What did you see? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He was out of his fucking mind. He wanted to hurt us. Okay? And... I thought he was the one who attacked Jess. I thought we were close. After his sister's disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. I, I stabbed him, and I tried to get away, but I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Didn't know? Who did you stab? Oh, I, I, I stabbed the maniac. I didn't know it was Josh, but then he was the psycho. And how was I supposed to know Josh had all the sauce and the gun and, oh, my God. You bringing in Meat Brain next? Can I kick him around a bit for me? I'm sorry? Meat Brain, Mr. Muscle Brawn, Matt the Incredible Sulk. Is there something we need to know? Oh, no, nothing important except, um, you know, how he basically left me to die up on a freaking tumbling tower like a world-class douche nozzle? Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <sighs> she said she heard you calling out. <sighs> Not me. Mmm. Mike. <laughs> What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there, and I'd give anything to unsee it.
visual on a survivor. One survivor for Is that? Oh, fuck. Stay back! Stay back! No, no! Stay back! <laughs> Well, 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 I've done it. I have conquered until dawn. I kept everybody alive. Oh my God. Take the do-rag off and show the boldness. <laughs> Man. That was crazy. Um, I appreciate uh, Dark Pictures for coming out with this. It's a, this is a classic, classic game. One of the classic games. Um, hey, uh, experiencing this is this was like something none ever. I can't even talk, man. I'm lost for words, bro. I got everybody up out of there, bro. It's one thing I want to do, though. Hold on. Why? Got more content coming. Let's see. Status. I missed three clues. Four clues. I'm sorry. Four clues. I missed two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven clues for 1952. Mystery man. Oh, this is about uh the guy that got killed. Damn, I missed a bunch of totems. What the fuck? Thought I was on. I thought I was on point with the totem game. Oh well. And a butterfly effect. Sam escape. Mike escape. Ashley escape. Emily escape. Chris escape. That's what I like to see. Escapes. All escape. What a game, man. Um, what a game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, more content to come. Uh, like I said, Dark Pictures does have a, a two other games um, called uh, Man of Medan and Little Hope. I'll be getting that'll be coming to the channel um, in the future. Uh, take a break on these episodic games tear myself up, but we got games coming uh, Look out for the 2k look out for the Madden look out for the MK 11 um, I'm about to post up uh, This uh, for honor. I got for honor coming got a whole bunch of content coming for different people um, Whatever you prefer I got other stuff. I want to play as well. I haven't played a lot of games just to introduce myself uh, to the end of this, uh, end of this game, just a little thing about me. I was a back then. I played all the games back in the day when I was younger, uh, but I had got older and was like basically buying not even the trendy games. I was just buying sport. I was just buying. I was buying sports games. That was about it. That was it. I didn't buy nothing else but like sports games and maybe like GTAs. <laughs> it got down to that point where I wasn't buying no different games. Like I could say I've played Red Dead Redemption 2, Spider-Man. I'm coming back around to it. 
to playing different games, but I hadn't played a Mortal Kombat game in so long. It, I think the last Mortal Kombat game I played was uh, uh, before 11 was uh, uh, t- 2 or whatever came out. That ever came out on Nintendo 64. But I wasn't buying. Like, I don't buy fighting games. But um, just to play it and see how I react to it and stuff like that is... That's that's good, man. Content, man. But I enjoyed this game. This game was fire. It was dope. And I did it in, like, one like one session. If y'all, if y'all see how the videos break up. But I did this in all in one session because I enjoyed going through the process and doing it so i know i like it i like it a lot next so now it's just it's whatever man um like comment and subscribe uh tell me what i should play next uh let me know hit me up uh is there anything else man ain't nothing else to be said man do better, be better. Try to love one another, man. I'm out. Peace, man. We out. Man, it's a game, man. What a game. What a game.